Well, here's an interesting thing. Dust storms rob Mars of water. We always knew that Mars used to be a warmer, wetter planet, but uh, its gravity is only 38% the gravity of Earth, so we also knew it couldn't hold an atmosphere tightly to the surface like our planet can. But still, that's enough to hold water vapor, a little molecule like H2O, uh, close to the surface. But if water vapor gets too high up in the atmosphere, the sun's rays can rarefy uh, the atmosphere and uh, turn the H's and O's back into hydrogen and oxygen and break the water up, the ultraviolet rays from the sun. And this article points this out, but it says one way that the water molecules can get hoisted up to uh, high enough in the atmosphere for this to happen is by the dust storms. They can do it. Um, and uh, that's nice. Uh, interesting how the then the hydrogen leaves the atmosphere because it's the lightest of all the elements of all the gases and then there's no hydrogen uh, for the ingredients of water hydrogen and oxygen for H2O uh, however look at this comment here they observed this during just a single dust storm variations over weeks or months don't really tell you anything about the thousand year time scale that governs hydrogen NASA says. Well, that's interesting because they might observe these radioactive isotopes for a couple hours, maybe days, maybe weeks, and they'll extrapolate that out to billions of years. And that, that seems to make sense to them based on four basic assumptions that you really can't prove. Well, anyway, that's your thought for today. God bless and keep thinking.